Abraham. Yeah, you okay? I think it's the most important thing. Um, so, for example, with Abraham, so because I'm, I'm, I believe more in the Bible, so uh. I wanted to understand a bit more about Islam because there's certain times okay. I don't, I, I'm not sure. So, in the Bible, it talks about Abraham had two wives, right? And there was Sarah, That's correct. Sarah and Hagar, right? That's correct. Yeah. yeah. And then the promise was given to Abraham that his child would come from that line, right? So he would come from his wife, who was Sarah at the time. That's the claim. Yeah. And the descendant was where the Messiah was going to come. Yeah. Okay. Um, but then Abraham couldn't wait, so he ended up going with his maid, which was Hagar. Okay, Hagar, yeah. Yeah. And then they had the child and Ishmael. Right? That's true. Right. Yeah. In the Quran, it's kind of different because it says that it was Ishmael who Abraham went to sacrifice not Isaac, right? In the Quran, Quran to be honest, to be honest with you, Quran does not mention the name. Oh, it doesn't have. No, that. it doesn't say Ismail, right. but it said the first son. But we know the first son based upon the Quran is Ismail. Okay. okay. But there is some Muslim scholars they lean toward that it was Ishaq. Okay. But the correct opinion is because the the Hadith supports it was Ismail. Yeah, the hadith of Prophet Muhammad support Ismail, yes. So it doesn't say it was Isaac, so it said it was Ishmael that was the No, it doesn't say it was Ishmael in the Quran, clearly. Okay. But the hadith, I haven't checked uh, the, uh, the authenticity of the hadith, but I know there's a hadith about uh, 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 Dabih, the son of Dabih, that the Prophet Muhammad is the son of uh, Dabih min Ismail, okay? Right, okay? So the hadith supports it. Okay, okay. yeah, go on. Yeah. Right, so why, why that was important is because from there it talks about where the Messiah is going to come from. Okay. Okay, and... In the Bible, the reason we, we needed a Messiah was because man was condemned from the beginning because of Adam and Eve's sin. Okay. So when they sinned, they became condemned, right? So, okay. well, why why is Jesus the Messiah in Islam? Why is Jesus the Messiah? Yeah. Uh, okay, uh, uh, the Messiah in Islam, what it means? The Messiah means someone who is the ulama differ. The Messiah means Messiah. What is the Messiah? Some scholars say the Messiah means it's been wiped over, okay? Or he was someone who was in trouble. That's it. It's not like according to the Bible, because the Bible, the Bible is a chosen one. No, Messiah the is anointed. The actual, the actual word Messiah means Savior. According to, to, to the Hebrew, Messiah, which is yeah, Messiah, which is, which is the anointed one. Because in the Old Testament, many prophets have been called the Messiah too. Right. So in the Quran, is there anyone else called the Messiah except No, no, only Jesus. The, the Quran is more, the Quran supports more Jesus than the Bible to be the true Messiah. Because the Quran has a no prophet Messiah except uh, Isa ibn Maryam, the, uh, Jesus son of Mary. Right, and he says that's the Messiah. Yeah, he's the Messiah. Okay, yeah, so, the Messiah. So Abraham was promised that the Messiah would come through his lineage, yeah, which is right. Isaac, according to the Bible, right? And then he came and he died for our sins. So that's why when they say, oh, Jesus is the only way to God, it, that is isn't supported by the Quran as well. Because the Quran. The only says, true God, what? It says that, it says, okay, the Quran says that Jesus is the word of God. Je no, uh, the Quran, it says Jesus was created by the word of Allah. Not Jesus is the word of Allah, because yeah. the word of God is an attribute. An attribute is, is not an entity by itself. You with me? Meaning that your speech, have you seen someone's speech walking the street? Hello? No, but he's... he's an attribute of, of someone, okay? So yeah. the word of Allah meaning that it was created by the word of Allah. That's what it means according so, to Quran. So basically, he came to give the word, right? He was the uh, word, like he lived the word. Okay, he, he lived the word, that's a different thing, okay. But what is the point? I don't yeah, understand well, your point. Yeah, yeah, okay, my point is that... Because you know, there's someone who's waiting so for me for a long I, time. No, I was watching, so, sorry, I'm going to go. Yeah, so, no problem, no problem. I no. watched a guy who was a, he, he was a Muslim imam and he said that the word meaning that Jesus was the word of God in the sense that he could also be classed as the Quran. No, he's, he's not. He's not he because said, Allah sent the Quran clearly. Are you telling me that Indian imam who claimed he was an imam and he became a Christian? I don't know. Was no, he no, Indian? No, no, he wasn't Indian. Indian, Indian. Yeah, Indian Bangladeshi. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah bro. I don't know if he's a Christian. In the Tabib, uh, he became a Christian. He claimed, he claimed that is the, uh, that's how he became a Christian. Uh, okay. The point here is, Allah mentioned the Quran. In مثل عيسى عند الله كمثل آدم خلقه من تراب ثم قال له كن فيكون. The similitude of Jesus with Allah is like Adam. Allah created from a dust and see, and He said, "Be." That's the kalim of Allah. Be, be, and He came to existence. So it's not the actual kalima, that's the word. It's not the word Allah transferred to human being. No, it was created by the word of Allah. That's firstly. Okay. Secondly, when you go to the Old Testament, okay, to be an Israelite, you have to come from the seed of who? Abraham. From your father's seed. Well, that's why he said. Even it, like, to be a Hebrew, like a Jew. An Israelite. So for someone to be an Israelite, you have to come from the seed of your father. That's what the Old Testament teach. Okay. Yeah. Oh yeah. To be an Israelite.
You had to be. You had to be circumcised. No, it's not about circumcision because uh, I'm circumcised. I'm an Israelite. No, but that was the that was the promise to Abraham's covenant. No, you mentioned the point. Israelite is a lineage. Okay. It's not a belief. Well, okay. Yeah. Because Israelite, who's who's Israel? They belong to Israel. No, who's Israel? Judah. Yeah, no, Jacob. 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 So Abraham. Okay. His son is Isaac. Isaac, son of Jacob. Okay. Jacob's name is Israel. Yes. And the people that came after him. Okay. okay? Because the people that came from the other children of Isaac, they cannot be Israel. Because Israel is the other son. Okay? You with me? So the other tribe that came from the Israel, to be, an Israel, to be Israelite, you, come, you have to come from the seed of your father. That's what the Old Testament teach. Well, I guess from the seed of Jacob, right? Yeah, but from the seed of your father. You cannot, if your father is not Israelite, you cannot be Israelite. We all come from the seed of our father. So no, you're missing the point. You have to understand. In the Old Testament says, for someone to be Israelite, you have to come from the seeds of your father. You follow your father, you don't follow your mother. Okay. Do you understand that? Okay. So Jesus, who is his father Israelite? His father was God. So how can he be Israelite then? How can he become from the lineage of, uh, of uh, Abraham? Because to come from the lineage of Abraham and Jacob, you have to come from the seeds of your father, not from your mother. So you agree that Jesus is the son of God? No, I don't agree with that. But before we go to that, point? <laughs> my point is, how can you claim, how can you say someone is an Israelite, and in order to be an Israelite, you have to come from the seeds of your father? And you're telling me Jesus, his father, is God, okay. so is God Israelite? So, what I'm trying to say is, if, if his father is God, right? No, before that, is God Israelite? Okay, so if, if, his, if God is not an Israelite, who's his father? No, before we come to that, if God, if God is not Israelite, and he's not an Israelite God, God is the creator of everything. Yeah. Abraham is not Israelite, yeah? Okay, if God is not an Israelite, therefore, Jesus cannot be coming from the seed of the David, because the Messiah has to come from David. Yeah, okay, has been promised. Yeah. He cannot come from David because David, in order for you to come from David's seed, you have your father has to come from the lineage of David. That's why the, 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 the lineage, if you look to the Bible, yeah. they differ about Jesus' lineage. In one lineage, completely different than the other lineage. Okay. One is being called son of Joseph. Okay, yeah. now he's the son of God. As for is he son of God or not, we speak in English, correct? Yeah. What do you mean by son? Child. Child, okay. His father created him. So uh, God created me. I'm, uh, is he, uh, my father. Yeah, it's your father. So what is different between me and Jesus? If both us were children of God. You have a human father. But Jesus. Uh, Jesus uh, did not have a human father. Ah, uh, so because Jesus had a human father. He didn't have a human father. But uh, in the Bible, he said he was the son of Joseph. He wasn't the son of Joseph. He so there the is a life in the Bible. It doesn't say that in the Bible. No, it doesn't. Son of man. He's not a son of man. He's a son of man and son of God. He was a son of man because he came through Mary. You see. But you told right? me it doesn't. It doesn't the say Bible that. The Bible says that I, he's the second Adam. So you're right when you said that. No, but before that, you told me dif a difference between me and Jesus because Jesus didn't have no father. Yeah. But in the Bible, he said he's a son of man. He's a son of man because of Mary, because he was born through a woman. I understand. I'm a son of man, correct? Yeah. And I'm a son of God. If you have the Holy Spirit. But if I have the Holy Spirit, I'm a son of God. If you have the Holy Spirit. Okay. So if we have a Christian here, he's a son of man and he's a son of, the, of God. Of God. Yeah. And Jesus is a son of man. He's a son of man, yeah. And he's a son of God. Yes. So what is the difference between the two? Because he was born through the Holy Spirit. So yeah, but both of them have two fathers, man. So Jesus never had a human father. His father was God in heaven, right? So and is he a lie when he was called son of man? No, because he's the son of man. Because his mom is the mo is clay. So when he anyway, let's you know, let us go to more important than okay. that, which is the, the oneness of God. Do you believe there's only one God? There's only one God. Is that Jesus or the Father? Jesus is the son of God. So he's not God. He's the son of God. No, I'm just asking, he, is he God or not? He's not God the Father, he's the son of God. No, I'm not saying if he's God the Father, is he part of the Trinity? I don't believe in the Trinity person. Alhamdulillah, that's good. Sorry. You're close to, uh, to come to Islam soon. Because <laughs> why? That's good. That's good. You don't believe that. That's true, mashallah. Why? Yeah. why? Because there's only one God. And yeah. Jesus said the only true God is the Father, yeah? yeah? Now, your starting point is the Bible, correct? That's yeah. your starting point. Now, what I have to do, can you trust the Bible? Definitely. Okay. The, the, the Old Testament. The earliest manuscript for the Old Testament is 900 years after Moses. So someone came 900 years after Moses and he wrote the Torah, okay? The five books. Yeah, yeah, the Do you know his name? The guy that wrote the books of Moses. Yeah. Okay. Is he trustworthy? I, I presume it was Moses, but it was in him. No, no, no. I'm not, I'm not talking about who received the Torah. Okay. I'm talking who, because the, old, the, the King James and the Old Testament that we have not in, 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 in a written form, that was not given to Moses directly and he gave it to us. No, that is based upon a manuscript that was found in the Dead Sea, in the Dead Sea, okay? Dead Sea Scrolls. That, that Dead Sea Scrolls, literally the Torah, the five books, 
between the, uh, the earliest one we have, yeah, between that and, G and Moses is 900 years. So literally someone came 900 years after Moses, he started writing and we came now in our time and we start taking it from him. Now, is it you said you don't know him? No, I don't know. Him. Even the expert don't know him. Is it trustworthy? The person that wrote the Dead Sea Scrolls? Yeah. So if you, if you don't know him and he's not trustworthy, how can you trust something you don't know who wrote it and if it's, if it's not trustworthy? Okay, but you can say it's similar to the Quran. I like that one. I comes to the Quran. The Quran is not the same thing. What differentiates Quran about the Bible, Quran, we didn't find it in a cave, dusty cave. We start dusting the paper and we start reading. No, okay. the Quran, even Allah mentioned the Quran. He mentioned, listen to this. Inna nahnu nazzalna dhikra wa inna lahu lahafidun. We have sent down the revelation and we will preserve it. That is a claim. I cannot tell you accept it because it's in the Quran, you know? But the Quran, the beautiful Quran, it gives you logical arguments about that. Now, if the Christians and the Jews and the Muslims, all of them burn their scriptures, fruit in the sea, the only book will remain with us is the Quran. You know why? Because apparently you memorize it. Not apparently, that's the reality. No, the Quran has been memorized by 100 million of children Muslims. No scholars, yeah. poor scholars alone. And that was the time of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam used to recite it and they read it out to him. Likewise, they used to write yeah. it down. They used to write yeah. it down as well, yeah? But they used to read it out to him. And the, 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 what distinguished the Quran from Bible, before Jesus was raised up, the Christians, they were scared to speak openly about their beliefs because they were persecuted. Correct? The Muslim, that was not the case. Before Prophet Muhammad died, Islam was in power. The authority was belonged to the Muslims in the Arab Peninsula. So the Quran was recited loudly. We didn't have to go in a cave, read it, and recite it openly Can and through them. Wait, 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 wait. So we have now 100,000 of scholars. We can trace them back. We call something called Ijaza. You know what is Ijaza? Ijaza means before you come to read the Quran on me, to me, you have to investigate. Did Chamsi study under Muhammad? Okay? Who is Muhammad? Muhammad was another scholar of Quran. Then Ali. Then you go back more and more. Then what happened? He goes to Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And not just too few people, no. Put that on a bigger scale. That's why now, alpha, the, uh, the, the English alphabet. If I say the, the English alphabet letters A, C, U, T, everyone say no, it's A, B, C, D. Everyone memorized it. You see? The Quran is not just like IBC, it's more powerful than that. The Quran has been memorized and preached out openly, not like the Bible. Just two points. Go, go ahead, no right. problem, brother. Sorry for taking it. It's okay. Yeah, the, yeah, sorry. The first point is the Torah. So you're talking about the Torah. The, Wait, the, the Torah? The Torah, yeah, correct. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But you got to agree that that came before the Quran came. So what is the point of that? What I'm trying to say is the Torah and the Quran are quite similar in a lot of the teachings. You can say yes, so, I agree with that, yeah. So this teachings already existed before the Quran arrived, right? But uh, the, the, the Torah has a teaching that already exists in Sumerian language, in Sumerian. In Hebrew? No, no, Sumerian. Sumerian, there were Hebrew. several... No, Sumerian is not Hebrew. Okay, but Su I know Sumerian is not Hebrew. Yeah, they, they Sumerian, there is many writing that is in the Torah. You, you chase it back, Sumerians had it. Okay. So uh, our point is easy. What we say, the one that gave the Torah okay. to Moses is the one that gave the Quran to, uh, to, to Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So now, if I, that is legitimate then? No, no, what I'm saying to you, there's difference between the Torah that was given to Moses okay. and the Torah that you have now. Right. You understand my point? Teachers, the one we have now. No, not all of it. Some, some stuff I don't agree. For example, yeah. they say God regrets. That clearly disbelief. It, it's not in that context. It does. It but, says, uh, 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 let me quote it. Let me just have respect. Sorry. Forgive me if I'm trying no, to be no, okay. Samuel 1, uh, 15, 2. He says, Saul, he said to, uh, God said to Samuel, uh, 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 anoint Saul to go and kill the Malachite. Okay? okay? Watch this. For why? Why kill the Malachite? Okay? Because why? They ambush Israel. So something happened 400 years ago. God is saying to Saul to go kill the babies and infants and children for a sin. Something happened 400 years ago. That doesn't stop there. It goes on to say, Then God said, I greatly regret. I greatly regret for choosing a Saul as a king. Why? Because he turned his back on me. And that show, show us what? Deficiency. In knowledge. Okay, but like you gotta know the Bible a bit more. So, why before he picked Saul, he never even wanted them to have a king? You know that, right? Okay, no problem. What is the point? The point, the point here is, is God regret it. No, it was man that chose that. I went huh? to man chose Saul as a king. But God, no, no, wait, wait, brother. No, no, no brother. I have respect. Let me, let me read the Bible. Let me read no, the Bible. I will. You can read the Bible. Okay, go on, go on, go on. He initially, right, didn't want them to have a king over them, but the people wanted to have a king, like the other land, right? So that's when they wanted Saul to become king. Right? So when it says that he regretted, he like grieved, 
he grieved. It's not saying that, oh, he didn't know what was going to happen. He was just grieved. But, sorry. No, it's not, because so in my... Hebrew, it says regret. Okay. I've asked Jewish people, they come here, uh, the young ones, it says, it says regrets, but they say it doesn't mean regret like it we means regret. Like grief. No, uh, grief even him. grief. Grief. What is yeah. grief? Grief like, when something happened and he, he expects it. He obviously got it. But he's going. So where's grief in his uh, grief? Grief. No, it's grief. Grief is not yeah. as angry. Angry, we understand. Yeah. Okay. But grieving, and it's not grieving because what you have to understand is not grieving because you cannot change it to regret and you say it's grieving. But my point here, wait, wait. So no, no, sorry. sorry. Okay, oh, go on. Because you said it earlier. So basically, the other issue is when you write something down and when you talk, it's two things. Right? Chinese whispers. You've heard of Chinese whispers, right? It's just a game we play in school. And if I started off here and I whisper something to this guy, by the time it gets all the way around to him, he's going to say something very different. Right? So when you have something written, if I wrote it down and I passed it to him, it's going to stay the same all the way to the end. So it's a problem when you use that as a theory because even in science, you cannot go by people's words because it differentiates pretty quickly. You, okay, these arguments are easily kind of future. You know, uh, 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 firstly, Ch uh, Chinese, uh, Chinese whisper yeah. is not is not a, a book that we people. Can do it right now. No, no, no. Allow me to finish. Okay, allow me to finish. Allow me to finish, brother. Allow me to finish, brother. Okay. To show you that I'm going to refute it easily, logically, rationally. Okay. Bi Chinese whisper. No one holds Chinese whisper or our speech as a holy. So when you're going to speak to me, I'm not going to make sure that you're going to tell me something. I have to make sure to memorize it. Otherwise, God is going to punish me. I'm not going to do that. Is that you're going to say, oh, and I, 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 out. And Chinese whisper, at the end, what? You will have completely different narration, okay? But we have we have the same Quran, even though different recitation, but the recitation of Warsh in China is the same recitation of Warsh in Morocco. The same recitation of Warsh in Afghanistan, the same recitation of Warsh in Sudan, the same recitation of Hafs in Saudi. So, no, no, but you talk the Chinese whisper, you have completely the opposite. But we don't have that with the Quran. The, the problem with that is not even is human deficiency. It's not even to do with, oh, they don't want to remember it. It's the fact that humans are deficient as a whole. So what I'm trying to say, even if you really wanted to know it, it doesn't make Brother, are, are you going to hold on to that, yeah? No, no, I'm not. I was just... Because, you know, I, I show you in the, old, in the New Testament. But we can try it out. Why don't we try it no, out? No, 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 brother. Uh, brother, you have to be logical, brother. I'm being logical. Okay, watch this one. Alhamdulillah, <laughs> Rabbil Alameen. Yeah, but everybody said that. Ah, look, 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 I'm going to finish the Quran, you see here. We can be practical here, bro. You're supposed to whisper no, no. it, and then I'm supposed to whisper it to all of them. Because if you but if you, whisper, if you whisper it to me, okay, whisper it to me. Who are you going to whisper to me, brother? You have to be honest, brother. You have to, brother, you have to be realistic, man. Before you go, no, before you go. Before you go. You have to be realistic, brother, yeah? When we talk about Chinese whisper, this argument is very weak to use against the Quran. Because now, when I'm teaching the Quran, Firstly, is a condition I have to be what scholar in the Quran or someone who knows how to memorize the Quran. And con the other condition, I have to take it from someone else. And what we can do, imagine he learned from Ali, the brother Ali. Yeah? Okay. So what I do, I learn Quran from him. You know what I do as well? Okay. I don't suffice with that. I go to Ali as well. Okay. Ali learned it from another brother. He, uh, you know what I do? I go to, because when Islam, they say called Islam al Ali. Always go to higher, higher. And many scholars did it, and always it's the same Quran. The way Muhammad recited to me, Ali recited to me. The way, I, brother, Allah mentioned it in the, in, in, in the book. So the Bible, likewise, in the New Testament was oral. Look, one, one. He said, many narration was passed down to me. It, says, it seems good to me to write in gospel. So look, he never took it from a book. He took it through chain of narration. So are you going to reject Look. It, it wasn't like he, he was talking about the testimony of what he had seen, the people who had been... Regardless, Chinese voice, brother. It wasn't. It was talking. It was a witness. He was directly, no. He was not a witness. No, he was talking to the people that had witnessed the power of God. For example, no. Paul. But again, it was a Chinese whisper. It wasn't because it was talking to the guy directly. Directly, but yeah. did he hear it directly? No, he wrote it from the guy directly. Khalas, the people that got the Quran, they got it from the Prophet directly, the Sahaba. Yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. But what we say to you again? Jesus is the Messiah. No, but again, again, brother, brother, brother. Yeah. You believe Jesus is the Messiah because of the Bible. So does the Quran. But, no, no, but wait, 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 wait. Do you believe in the Quran? No, well, I don't believe in the Quran. But you believe in the Bible. I believe in the okay. Bible. Okay. You just told me right now in front of the camera, and forget about the camera. It's about us, you know. Forget about the camera. Yeah. You just told me that you don't know whole of the Bible, and you don't know if it's trustworthy. So how can you trust it? Simple. May Allah guide you to the truth. It was, no, it's nice talking to you again. Let me shake your hand, and hopefully we'll see you another time, brother. Take care.